just wrapping up here at George Washington University in preparation for game four. We're here with Mike Mascala to help us preview that game. Mike, first let's look back at, at game three. Obviously disappointing to lose, but you have to be proud of what you guys were able to do in that last quarter. Yeah, uh, you know, made, came back, tied it up. Um, you know, Pierce had a really tough shot, but um, there's no moral victories. Obviously, we, we wanted to win, and um, so game four is important. You guys outscored them 35-18 to 18 in that quarter. Were there any specific things that that group was able to do to be successful? I think we did a good job on defense, finishing the possessions, getting rebounds, and then guys just making shots. Um, guys came in, Mike Scott, Shelvin, Dennis did a great job attacking, and we were able to get some points on the board. Speaking of guys making shots, you made a big one yourself, that game tying three with 14 seconds left. What was that feeling like, you know, when you saw it go in? Uh, I was, you know, I was happy, obviously, but we still had time left on the clock, so I wasn't trying to celebrate too much. And it was just, it was to tie the game, you know, so there was a lot more to play. And, um, you know, like I said, Pierce had a really tough shot. I think Dennis played really great defense, and Bays contested it, too. It was a really tough shot. As the postseason has kind of gone on, you've definitely increased your minutes. So, you know, how how are you feeling out there? Are you getting more comfortable as, as we continue to, to head into the postseason? Yeah, trying to learn from every game. Playoffs are a different animal, and just trying to watch guys like Al and, and, and Pero and Paul out there and learn from them. And then when coach calls my name, just try to be ready and do what I can to help the team. All right, thanks, Mike, and good luck. Thanks. Game four tips off at 7 p.m. on a Monday night. Watch the action on TNT or tune in to 92.9 The Game.